dolls, it's Daria here and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like it has been so long now and I've really lost my routine with my uploads. I'm sorry about that and I do have a reason for that. So I was going to film a video the other day just explaining it and what's been going on lately but long story short I accidentally spilled a whole glass of water all over my laptop so I literally had nothing to edit any of my footage on and I also had a problem with my DSLR camera so that is currently away and I have to go and get a new camera so yeah that's long story short as to why I haven't been on YouTube at the moment so I just thought today I would bring you guys a whole video I've got a lot of parcels from Sunday's a label Amazon Prime uh, Muscle Nation and a few others. I can't really remember all the parcels. I've just had them all like accumulating on my bed and I haven't had time to go through them. So I thought I'd film this haul and show you guys what I got. I can't actually remember all of the items so I will just leave a description somewhere along here and also in the description box for you if you are interested in any of these items. So I've got all my parcels here and we'll just be going through them now. So the first parcel I actually got was this one from ASOS, so I've just got a big box of ASOS goodies. I did open the box but I haven't actually gone through each individual item and undone everything from its packaging so it'll be me seeing it for the first time too. So it'll be my real honest opinion of all the items. No idea what this is again. So first up I have bought this black long sleeve turtleneck. I had a similar one in my last haul that I did. I can't remember where that was from. I think it was Boohoo. But I've obviously bought another one. I didn't realise I doubled up and now I own two of these. Personally they're just a great staple though so I wear them a lot and I'll get good wear out of them. This one's a little different unlike my other one. This one isn't ribbed. It's just a nice cotton material. It's just got a high neck again. Doesn't look like it should be too tight. It should just sit nicely. And it just has like a theme on here on the back. No biggie though. I reckon this will look really nice tucked into some jeans. And that's the vibe I'm going for with this top. I think this was pretty reasonably priced. Just around $20 which is decent. I also got this black top in a US 4. I'm not sure on the Australian size conversion, but that's just what it says on the tag. Moving on, the next item I picked up was this white t-shirt. It's a long sleeve. It's meant to have the balloon sleeve, so I'm really into that at the moment. So I got this top. It's just got the buttons down the front with the collar. I got this in a size medium, and it's the brand Veramoda. I'm not sure how much this was, but it is a Gabriella long sleeve shirt. And I just thought this was really pretty. I just want to wear this with jeans. And I feel like you can make this kind of casual or you can dress it up. And it would be great as like a work top as well. Not that I need it as a work top. But I just thought it was a really versatile top so I can dress it up or play it down. And look a little stylish. The next item I got is actually an item from Pretty Little Thing. But I did buy it off the ASOS website. So it's in a size medium. Doesn't have a label of what it is. But... It's just this jumper here, so it's actually got quite a low cut, which I didn't think it did go so low. But I really just wanted to wear this with like my sports tights and just a sports crop underneath. I just thought it looked cool because it does really hang off your shoulder, so I just thought it looked cute with like your sports bra straps kind of showing. Really fluffy and I don't know, I feel like there's fluff going everywhere, but I thought it looked cute. It'll be interesting to see what this looks like on. Again, I think this was another item that was like $15 to $20, so it's really not bad money spent. So the next item I got was this little cute bag here. I thought this was such a cute pickup. It's a really nice style, and it's also just so sleek. I love that it's black. It's got gold detailing and a gold zip, and it's just a really nice size for going out. That's what I was planning to get it for, even maybe at Falls Festival, and just having it to quickly like strap over you and all that. The strap isn't adjustable, so it is only this long. I don't know how that'll sit. Um, I kind of wish it was adjustable, but it's still just a great, cute little size. It's got like the, um, what do you call this? Like snake or crocodile kind of print. I think this retailed as well for like $20 or $30. I never will pay that much for a like purse or handbag. So it definitely was not expensive. Just has a nice little compartment and it does actually have a zip off in here that you could put like important items or some coins or something like that. So the next item I got is the Vans Bombshade sunglasses in black. This will be interesting because 
I don't know, I'm really picky with sunglasses and I just feel like I have a really weird face shape that a lot of sunglasses do not suit me. I'll have to cut off the tags and have a play. They're just these black van sunglasses. They got like that square look. I've seen that around a lot on Instagram, so I just thought I'd try it out. Maybe I'll grow into the vibe, but I don't think they suit me. Let me know what you guys think. What is my hair doing? The last two items I got were just some basic items in their socks. So I just got some Adidas socks and some Nike socks. And I just feel like these are classic staple items. I love wearing these with like my Air Force Ones and my Falcon. So I just got them as some more socks. I always seem to go through socks. So, so that is everything from ASOS. So I just need to put all the rubbish in this box and I'll move on to my next order. Ha, psych. I just realized I have one more thing from ASOS, so it was just sitting on my bed, so I will open this one up now. I actually nearly forgot what this was, but it's a white blazer, because I really wanted a white blazer. I just think this would look really nice with denim jeans to go out. It's just white, and it's got black buttons on it here, which I just thought was really sleek and elegant. What I envisioned is like a black lace top underneath with like some high-waisted denim jeans and this. Maybe even a red lip. That was the vibe I was going for. But it feels pretty nice. It's not like the softest material. I think it's some kind of linen. But it's not as soft as I was thinking it was going to be. It's not a short blazer. It's like that nice in-between length. So I'll definitely give that one a go. And we'll see what that looks like on me as well. Now we can move on to my next parcel. So what am I feeling? Maybe we'll go with this one. This is Sunday's The Label. I have been waiting for this order for so long. I pre-ordered this like... I swear at least two months ago now, I didn't think it would honestly take so long, but it has finally arrived. So I just got a pair of trackies from this brand and also a jumper. It's like a matching set. I literally had like no trackies. So I went on like a tracky rampage and now I have like five pairs when it's so stupid because you can literally only wear one, but knowing me, I can get my stuff really dirty really quick. So I can at least wear two pairs in a day. So just if anyone's interested as well, this is the Lux Fleece Crew in sand and the Lux Wet Pants in sand. And the order has fallen off my bed. But both of these items cost me $168, so it is more on the expensive side, but I'm hoping they're really good quality. And if they are, I just feel like that's kind of not too badly priced with the Fleece Crew being $80 and the sweatpants being $90. I feel like that's pretty standard. I have never ordered anything from this brand before, so I am intrigued to see what I think. I like the packaging, it is really groovy with just the Sundays on the um, packaging. Okay, so this is not the colour I thought they were going to be either. They're literally like a yellow, not so much a sand, which is so different. They feel absolutely amazing though, I don't know how to explain that. It kind of feels like soft velvet, I don't know, it's like silk as well, but they're like trackies. I don't know what fabric this is, but it is kind of insane. I got these in a 10 as well. I think I might have got the jumper in a 10 as well or maybe a 12 just for a more baggier fit. They look really nice and long, which is nice. I'm really actually excited to try these on. Like, I don't have any trackies that feel like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the crew I did actually get in a 12, which does correspond to a large on their site. I do feel like this is going to be oversized on me, which makes me happy because a lot of things in large actually aren't just because I'm such a tall girl. Um, but this looks good. It just has Sundays written in print here. It's very light. You can nearly barely see it. It just kind of blends in well, which is cool. And again, it's that really nice material. It's got a kind of fleecy, soft fleecy lining on the inside, but it's just thin, which I do like. Wow. I actually sound so like shocked or like starstruck, but I don't know. I've never felt anything like this. So that's what I got from Sundays, a label. I'm literally going to have like a rubbish pile just gathering in front of me so that's gonna be fun to deal with okay moving on let's change it up a bit i recently saw all over instagram everyone using this tripod from signet so i went for it i bit the bullet there was like 20 percent off after which i bought it there was like a 30 percent off sale so i was just like of course that had to happen but i've picked up their tripod which is very versatile and i thought could be really handy for doing my makeup or also filming potentially so I picked that one up so I won't go right into opening this one up but what it looks like is this so you can literally hold it kind of like well that's reflecting you can kind of hold it like a selfie stick or you could put it down as a tripod as well and I think it oh yeah it's bluetooth it has a soft grip handle three telescopic extensions up to 62 centimeters a two axis rotation for the perfect angle 
So yeah, you can't go wrong there. I'm loving tripods at the moment. You can actually get a few from Kmart which are really cheap and great quality as well. I can hook it up to my camera that I have here now and use it as like a handheld stick or also a tripod and that's $8. So this one was 50 so it just depends what's in your budget. But I really think I will get a lot of use out of this as well just because of the height of it. That's one thing that the Kmart one doesn't have is height. So this is a lot more versatile. Similar to that, I got a puzzle from Amazon Prime. I'm pretty sure this is my camera stand that I got for my new DSLR when it comes. I just got one that was like 127 centimeters tall. I wanted it to be taller, but maybe it'll be okay. I'm not really sure. But this is the only one I could seem to find. And it was also a bestseller on Amazon. So I just went with it and I'm hoping it'll be the goods. <laughs> Oh my gosh, another thing that has been annoying me at the moment is packaging. Like, I open this and there is so much space and then there's a way smaller box inside. Like, what is with that? There is so much wastage. Not even, I think it's literally just packing in the rest of the box. There's something else in there. Oh my gosh, this thing is tiny. Surely that is not my camera stand. Literally, from this box to this. Oh my gosh, I think it actually is and it even gets smaller. This was also about $30. I really don't think this is what I wanted. So it's this tall. It's definitely not going to be as tall as I wanted it to be. It might be good for sit downs like this, but for when I'm standing, this is not going to be tall enough. It looks very good quality though, which is, I guess, a plus. So this is the size of the tripod. Not that you can really tell, but I definitely thought it was going to be a lot taller. But I really don't even know if it's going to be tall enough for my sit downs at this point. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I can return this or what the go is. But I'm going to have to look into that one. Okay, so I'm starting to make good progress through my parcels now. So now we have a parcel from Muscle Nation. When this arrived, I'm like, oh, my four pairs of shorts in this thing. But I guess I just fold up really small. Uh, so I got two of their new range. I think it was like their butter shorts. And I got them in the bike short style. And then I got some of their on sale higher cut bum shorts I think they are and they were just on sale so I thought why not I think I got all these items in a small I've never ordered from Muscle Nation before though so I hope this is right sizing I just stuck with my normal size and with reviews I feel like everyone does their normal size so I'm hoping these fit right one thing I noticed with Muscle Nation as well you can't actually get a refund you can only do an exchange of an item if it doesn't fit so that is something to definitely be wary of when you're ordering from Muscle Nation that you won't be able to return any items and only exchange they actually did all fit in that parcel so I just have a note saying thank you for your order here cute and here are my parcels. So the first item I have is the black butter bike shorts. So this is from their new range. And I just feel like these are going to be a really flattering length because they're not going to be like riding up your butt. But they're also not like the full length biker shorts. And I feel like that's a really nice length for me. So they're these ones here and they just got the logo on the back. They don't have a scrunch bum. I wish these ones had a scrunch bum, but I do think they actually have a range with the scrunch bum. So I'm not going to complain about that. They're a really nice feel. I'm hoping they're big enough for me. Like surely they'll fit me. Surely. They feel really nice though. And off the bat, I'm really impressed. They feel really lightweight, which is nice. But I also hope... Like, you'll definitely have to wear a G-string with these because they would be see-through material if you don't. So, the next item we have is the small burnt orange scrunch shorts in the high waist. And so, I think these were on sale. And yes, these are really short. I'm hoping I like these, but these are definitely going to be ones that are, like, really close to showing my bum. But these are scrunch bum, which I do love. These are them here. I can't tell if they look, like, really small on camera because they look pretty small in person too. And it's got the really good scrunch bum on the back though, which I'm all about. Love a good scrunch bum. And again, these are exactly the same as the burnt orange, but these are in the black. These literally look like they're an extra, extra small. Like, I don't know, they are stretchy though, so I'm hoping they stretch all right and that I don't get like any fat bulges on my waist. And last but not least, these are similar to the first style I showed you. These are the butter shorts in the bike short length. And they're like this cool kind of camo print. It's got the same logo on the back as they do all have. I really like the Lululemon long 
leggings in this kind of style but I decided not to buy them in the end just because I do love Lululemon but I just feel like you can't really justify the price of it when there's so many great brands with similar fabrics that are so much cheaper so I did go with this similar kind of pattern in the bike short style from Muscle Nation and I'm sure I'm gonna like these just as much. I'm really just hanging out to wear these with a black crop top. I just feel like that's gonna look so sleek. We have Misguided. Again, I don't know what's with me trying all these new brands, but I have never bought anything from Misguided before. So this will be another new one for me. I can kind of remember some of the items I got, but at the same time, it's gonna kind of be a surprise as well. Okay, so it looks like I've grabbed four items from Misguided. So it's just a black coat. This is the tall basic entry formal coat and I got this in an Australian size 10. It's got a nice collar. It's kind of like the trench coat kind of vibes and it's just long like that. It actually looks a little longer than I thought. I really like the look of this though. I loved it on the model on the website so I thought that was good. I just hope it is like broad enough for me because I do have such broad shoulders that sometimes things like I don't feel I have space to like move around in them. So I'm hoping this is a good fit and I don't have to like worry about returns and that kind of thing. Misguided is all over their jumpers I swear. So this is the what is it? Misguided oversized hoodie and I got this in a large and I just feel like all their jumpers are so nice. They're like so simple but their colours are popping and they just have a really nice logo on them that's so simple but it looks so good. I got this in the colour sand. Again, this is not- all the colours on the website I feel like with every store look a lot different to what I've got in person. I still love it but it's not what I was expecting. So this is their version of sand. Again, these brands that I showed you guys today, I feel like they're doing really well with like what a large should be and I feel like this is going to be big on me again. So just a simple misguided print here and there's just a plain hoodie. I need to stop buying hoodies now though, like I am so winter prepped. I went like, I think I got nervous about having nothing for winter and then I just went ham and now I have way too much that is a joke. Okay, so the next top I got was inspired by the One Mile The Label that Sammy Robinson just recently launched. I loved her range and I really liked the striped set that she had on offer, but when I put the shorts and the top in my cart, it was literally like 170 or 80 dollars I swear like it was outrageous for what it was kind of thing it probably was really nice material but I was just like I'm sure I can find something a lot cheaper online that looks just the same so that like I couldn't justify the price I was like that is crazy and that was a staple that you'd get a lot of wear out of so like you could pay a bit more for it but this top literally looks exactly the same except it cost me like $15 instead of 80 for the exact same thing so this is the stripe drop shoulder long sleeve t-shirt and I got this in a 14 because I did want it to be oversized and it literally just looks like this it's just a stripe top which is literally like the one Sammy Robinson had on one marvel label so i'm hoping this does just as much justice and then it'll be great that i didn't spend all that money and similar to the shorts that they had on one marvel label i got some but they're in gray i feel like it'll still suit those stripes but obviously they're not the same color but they're the same kind of style so these shorts are called the tie waist turn up runner and i got these in a size 8 with shorts on me as well i'm normally between an 8 and a 10 it can really just depend on the brand so i do hope these fit and aren't like really weird in the crotch area. I feel like depending on if you're tall or short, it can be like baggy or weird in the crotch. These are a longer fit, which I do love. So they're not going to be up around your bum. And they're just a really nice cozy kind of vibe. And I just think they will actually go really well with this. And I just want to like kind of tuck it in to these shorts. And I think that will sit really nicely. All those items from Misguided added up to about $100. So I think that was really good value for money. And I don't know, I feel like I'm going to love all of that stuff. So I feel like Misguided is going to be a new website for me to go to. Last but not least, I have a parcel from Sephora. It's been a hot minute since I've ordered from Sephora and I did not really need any of these items. So I literally did not need any new makeup. But shout out to my friend Emma Gall who tagged me in a Facebook post that Sephora was having a sale. So I went on to Sephora, obviously, what's a girl to do? And I saw that they had the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation that's normally like $80, I swear, for $30. So I was like, that is unreal. I wanted to try this foundation, but I would never pay that much for a foundation. So since it was $30, I grabbed my hands on 
on two of their foundations. I'm hoping that my colour's like fingers crossed. Obviously I'm kind of white now but when I tan I feel like I can pull it off. So I did also pick up a few items that Rebecca Cappell religiously uses and had good reviews on YouTube about. So I picked them up as well and then I had so many points on my Sephora card so I got a few goodies that were in like the checkout rewards. So I'm guessing that's why it's such a big box because I literally ordered like four items and this is the box I got. I'm like, what? <laughs> when it arrived, I'm like, did they send me free stuff? But I think it's because of my rewards. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued to open this box, but I just realized, I, ooh, I thought I needed scissors, but I might be able to rip into it. Okay, I'm going rogue on this box. Who needs scissors? I have literally destroyed this box. Okay, let's see what's in here. Again, so much paper waste. Like, what is this? Like, I know you need to protect my parcels, but this is ridiculous. Got a cute little sample here of some Tarte Water Foundation and Hydration Primer. That could be interesting. This is literally why they gave me a big box. Just for this case. And this was in my rewards. And this was actually a pretty good rewards item to pick up. So I thought this would be great for travel. And just for storing your makeup in. Because you can easily wipe it down. And I think I paid about 500 reward points for this. But yeah, this is actually a really good size. Um, that will be really handy. Just put some makeup in it for when I'm carrying it around and all that good stuff. Even when I'm just like traveling or going to a friend's sleepover. Because I actually don't have that many makeup bags that are like a good size. I have like my big bulky ones. But like they're not practical to take everywhere. So if I can condense how much makeup I take when I go places, this will be great. Here we have the two Marc Jacobs foundation. So what shades did I get? I got 58 Honey Deep and 35 Beige Taupe. So I feel like Beige Taupe is going to be the one for me. And when I'm darker, I can mix the two because Beige Taupe is the shade 35 and this is 58. So there's quite a difference. But I thought there's a good difference between them from when I'm tanned and I can mix them together to make any shade I want, really. I've also been wanting to try these for the longest time. It's got really good reviews. I've asked a few of my friends who are a bit like, eh, about it. So I thought I'd try it for myself. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic and I think I just got it in the smaller size so I could try it first. I was going to go big but then I was like what if I don't like it. So this will be a good start off just to see what I think. I've also never had this brand before so don't like come at me if I say this completely wrong. But it's the Fasali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. And I've been really slack with primers lately. And I've seen Rebecca Cappell use this one. And it just looked insane. So it kind of blurs out all your skin before you put your foundation on. And I just thought this would be a really good primer to try out again. Since I haven't been into them for a while. I feel like I'm keen to try out everything honestly. Which I am. So I'm sorry if I keep saying that. But it's the truth. Ooh, what was this? This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. One of my good friends actually uses this and I think she really liked it. So this was a sample item. It's kind of small but I feel like there's a decent amount in here. I'm just going to give it a go and see what I think. Also, I get really dark under eyes so I'm keen to see if that does help with this. I can't tell if I've got anything else because there's literally so much stuff in this parcel that I have to like salvage through to see if I got any more items. If I chuck something away, I would honestly be devastated. Oh, another sample. Glacier Water Cream. Check that one out. Okay, the coast is clear. That is all the items from my Sephora order. And that's literally all the items I had to haul. I'm hoping I got this good on one take because I am not going through that all again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you could only see how much mess this created, I'm actually going to show you guys because... This is so much waste and I feel like this could have been packaged so much better that I did not need to have this much like rubbish. This is crazy like what? This is actually something I've been getting like really passionate about and annoyed about lately so I don't know what I can do to help that situation but look at all of this. Like that is my floor right in front of me. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this haul and 
just having a little catch up with me since it has been a while and I haven't filmed in a while as well but I am back so I'm hoping to put up a lot more content after my exams which end next week and we'll be back into the groove of things so I'm so glad that I could film this video for you guys today and have a little check in so I'll see you guys next time and see you dolls so tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do